I'm Kim K. Uh, hey Kim is asking, what are your tips for reading comp for those who are good at reading comp? What's your advice for improving? And I'd need to know more to, in order to better advise you, but I would say first, just asking you, what's your current approach and is it working for you? I'm guessing it's not because you're asking about this. You're saying it's a hit or miss. So I'd want you to take some time to figure out what do you like? What don't you like? Do you like taking a lot of notes? Do you like doing summaries or do you like not writing down anything at all. I generally find those who do the best on reading comp tend to mark very little or not at all. And you also, of course, want to get used to doing reading comp on a screen, whether you were doing the digital LSAT on a tablet or you're doing the online LSAT flex on the computer. Either way, you can't write on the passage itself. You've got to do all your notes to the side. So honestly, I would say you've got some more work to do on your end up front before you want to get more nuanced or detailed advice. Try out a handful of passages doing no notes, see how it goes. Try out a handful of passages doing minimal notes, see how that goes. Try out some doing paragraph summaries and see if that works for you. I would also advise you to dumb down or simplify the passages to make them more relatable for yourself. I recently released a video on the LSAT Unplugged YouTube channel where I walk through my general take on the riddled basins of attraction reading comp passage, which is one of the toughest reading comp passages of all time. And in that walkthrough, I start giving examples that aren't even in the passage, but they helped me to better bucket the information in the passage in a way that I could more cleanly understand that. And I do that over and over with a variety of different tough passages. I do it for the Big Bang Multiverse passage. I do it for the passage involving uh, the Congress and the League of Latin American uh, Political Activism in the US. And so I just found that that's a technique that works for me. It may or may not work for you. Many of my students have found it helpful. The specific examples are not really the most important though. What's important is that you take the general information in the passage and bring it down to your specific frame of reference, giving your own examples to simplify it for yourself. But uh, try it out and see if it works for you. All the best. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.